Okay, so we have some more information in what continues to be the wildest story that we have uh, in quite some time with this Antonio Brown, uh, just crazy situation. So here's what we know now. Again, I'm just going to tell you all the facts and let you, maybe you make the decision on your own as to who is actually justified here. Because Ian Rappaport, who I probably consider the most reliable uh, journalist out there, listen, no one bats a thousand, but he's pretty close. And what he came out and said was a couple of things. I think the biggest thing and the biggest takeaway is that Antonio Brown's perspective on all of this is that he hurt his, uh, you know, ankle, I believe it was. So he felt like he wasn't healthy and he didn't want to go back into the game. And then now we have what kind of set him off, which is Bruce Arians said something. And that exact something is a little bit up for debate because Ian Rappaport reported that Bruce Arians said, uh, well, if you're not going to be here, if you're not, if you're not going to come into the game, then you can't be here. But of course, that doesn't seem like that makes a lot of sense because typically if you get injured and can't play in the game, you just stand on the sideline. Whereas Bruce Arians just said, you can't be here according to Rappaport. However, uh, you know, the Bucks writer for The Athletic, Greg Allman, I believe is how you pronounce his name, A-U-M-A-N. I always say Allman. I'm not sure if that's actually how it works. But what he said, and this could be a big difference, is he just said, okay, well, if you're not coming in for this play, then you're done for the game. Maybe he's, he's just saying maybe Brown wanted to kind of, you know, still play in the game to some degree, but not play too much. It's also totally possible I, like, I think a lot of people are going to say, ah, there's no way a coach would make a player play through an injury. Like, listen, my high school cross-country coach got, this is a true story, uh, I had a, a, an MCL injury, and I decided to sideline side line myself after talking to a doctor, and they recommended that's the what would be best for me. I had a coach who yelled at me for doing that, also telling me that, uh, you know, I, I should never go see a doctor. You always listen to them and not listen to the doctors uh, when it comes to injuries, which was, in, uh, I think, in hindsight, just an absurd thing, especially one. I'm not getting a scholarship running cross country. I'm just doing it for fun. So, uh, yeah, wild stuff there. But going back to this, I could totally see a scenario where it doesn't seem crazy that it's a big game against the Jets. Bruce Arians is frustrated, and now Antonio Brown is saying, hey, I don't think I can play. And you're like, you can play. You've been cleared. Go back in the game. And then Antonio Brown took offense to that. In this case, it would be rightfully so, and left the game and he's just said enough with this. Uh, that's, that's a possibility because, again— Another important, again, I, I, I want to be clear, that's just a possibility. That's me speculating. I don't know if that's true. Uh, what Ian Rappaport reported is that this wasn't just an all of a sudden blow up. This has been uh, kind of quietly festering for some time. And uh, I don't know all of it, but again, just thinking back about the facts that we know of this situation, there was a scandal where Antonio Brown, when he was in a boot, uh, so he had a walking boot on one of his legs because of the original injury, uh, you know, several weeks ago, he was also riding a bike while doing that. And so some people kind of uh, joked about, well, hey, it's good that you're good enough to ride a bike while you're doing, you know, it in a boot. And I think that that's potentially something that the Buccaneers were upset about. Like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Because uh, Rappaport did say that some frustration was over the rehab process. So it's possible that maybe Antonio Brown had, I mean, listen, it's probable that Antonio Brown had at certain points had some weird uh, things that he had done because that's just what Antonio Brown does. And maybe he had some of these sort of minor, but not like horrible things. And then this time he actually had a real grievance and Bruce Arians just brushed it off uh, as he had, you know, as maybe he had with some of the other stuff or maybe it all boiled over. But again, we're back to speculating. It's also possible that Bruce Arians was just saying, listen, okay, fine. Uh, if, if you don't know if you can come back on this play, well, I'm just going to take you out for the game and I'm going to put other guys in. So that way we can just, we know what we're doing. It makes the, our job on the coaching staff a lot easier. These personnel decisions have to be done quick. And if you can't come in, it can screw stuff up. It can result in penalties. If not enough, you know, if too many guys get on the field, you could also have a scenario where not enough guys are getting on the field, which you never want. So uh, just logistically, I understand how that could be a possibility as well. And there's also a third possibility, which is Bruce Arians was saying exactly that. He was just saying, listen, okay, fine, you're done for today. And Antonio Brown thought that because of that, uh, it was a lot bigger 
than uh, what actually happened. Again, Rappaport did report that Brown was cut on the sidelines. So it wasn't like Brown just walked off the field when he still technically was a Buccaneer. When he was walking off the field, again, this is according to Rappaport, who I, I'm willing to trust here because uh, he's right 99% of the time. Uh, when Brown was walking off the field, he was already no longer a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. When he threw off the jersey, it wasn't him quitting. It was uh, him being upset because he was fired. So that's interesting. Um, what's my take on all of this? I think with this new information that we have now, A, we don't know. Uh, that's the unfortunate scenario because there are conflicting reports of, with, you know, respected reporters, not like, oh, hey, Mike Florio is saying something. It's like, okay, you know, a lot of times, uh, I, you know, I don't know why I called Florio out in particular, but you know the guys who will say stuff and you're like, okay, maybe that's true, but you're not exactly batting a uh, 1,000 or even 900 here, so I'm not going to quite totally believe everything you say. But for these two guys, I mean, they're guys I trust, and it's only a slight difference in their stories, so that's why I'm thinking that maybe there's a difference. And in fa fact, Rappaport even said that when he's explaining his story, it's Antonio Brown side of the story. So it's possible that, again, if the miscommunication is a thing, that would make some sense. And I think it's fair to say that's really unfortunate for Antonio Brown. I mean, from his perspective, if it is true what he's saying, he went out there and he said, listen, I have an injury. Uh, I thought I could play through it, but it's hurting me right now. I don't want to play anymore. My health is important to me. Uh, I don't want to risk that. And a coach said, you know, or at least he thought a coach said, no, you have to go back in there uh, or, or you're done for today and you're cut from the team. And he's like, wow, well, you're going to cut me for not playing through an injury. And then he was really upset about it, which like, OK, yeah, like you should be upset about that. No one should force you to play through an injury. If you feel like you're not healthy, you should always have the right to opt out. That's something I believe in. And I think that's something most people believe in. Like you shouldn't have to risk bodily harm uh, in a sport as physical as football. Uh, in the flip side, I can understand the, uh, Bruce Arians frustration if, Bruce, you know, uh, Antonio Brown hasn't been great with the whole rehabbing process of his first injury. Obviously the, in, the fake vaccination card, I'm sure Bruce Arians wasn't thrilled about that. And then on top of this, uh, now maybe he's saying like, Hey, go back in the game. And, uh, you know, uh, Antonio Brown's kind of saying, well, I don't want to go back in on this play. And he's like, okay, well, if you're not going back in, you're done for today. And I'm sure Bruce Arians didn't exactly say it in a kind way because that's not really how he barks out his uh, commands. So it's I can see both sides. And the reality is I don't think we'll ever – I think this will be the last update video I'm making. I don't think we'll ever get more information than this just because what other information could we get really? I don't know because at the end of the day, unless someone had a recording of the actual audio – on the sideline, which, hey, maybe uh, that'll come out during one of those, you know, mic'd up moments. Uh, that would be cool. But the reality is we're probably never going to get that. And this is probably where it's going to end is one guy's going to say one thing. The other guy's going to say the other. I doubt that Bruce Arians will clear anything up uh, on a later press conference. He's someone who they'll, they'll ask about it, but he seems like the kind of guy who usually gives one more answers to that kind of stuff. So I think this is going to be where it ends, but maybe not because we've seen a lot of updates so far. Uh, this is now my third video about this, and maybe I'll have to make a fourth. I don't know because st new st information keeps coming out. And again, I'll continue to keep you guys posted as new information comes out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of this entire situation and what, of this new information that's come out now in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.